What's going on you guys? This is Day one and I'm going to be giving you guys another New World video. So with this video I'm going to be giving you guys is going to be a tanking positioning video for Isabella on Tempest. Uh, I've been wanting to make a build video, or not a build video, but a video like this for a while now. But uh, I just never really got around to it. But uh, this should help out a lot of tanks who generally are tanking in the wrong spots or are just new to tanking in general so positioning is very very important because it not only does it allow you to be a better tank but it allows the dps's to actually output a lot more damage than if the boss was in the wrong spot so let's go ahead and get right into it so as you can see i am on the opposite side of the dps's like normally most people generally know that you're supposed to be on the opposite sides and the dps's should never be in front of her or any of the bosses because they, it, they do a lot of damage. So right now I'm trying to get her pulled back so the DPSs have more room to move around on the platform because Isabella has some crazy AOE attacks that, uh, I mean it's easy to see but for some reason like some of her frontal attacks will also count as a, like a full 180 attack or 360 attack for some reason. Like that dive right there, if you were on her sides, you would have been hit. Now as you can see, the tank can be closer to the water. It's better for the tank to be closer to the water or the, to the pools because they're, the tanks don't have to move around a lot. And right here, I don't block any of those attacks. The spins, I just eat the spins and then I block on the last hit because the last hit will do a lot more damage. If you decide to block all those spins and the last hit, your stamina will get, you, you basically lose all your stamina. So right here, she's going to start flying, and it's easy to tell where she's going to go. Some people generally don't know. Um, they just get caught, and they get killed. So again, I'm repositioning her because she landed in the pools on the other side. So now I'm putting her to a spot where the DPSs have more space for, to be behind her so they can put out more damage. As you can see there again, I decided to not block because I didn't want to lose a lot of stamina and then um, just ate, uh, ate all those hits and then blocked the last hit. You always want to make sure you do have Defiant Stance up. If you're running a Sword and Shield, obviously you want to make sure you have Defiant Stance up. Not only is it for the taunt, but it's for the damage reduction as well. You get a huge damage reduction, which is really nice as a tank. So the really nice thing about fighting Isabella as a tank or tanking against Isabella is when she's done flying or wherever she lands, she will normally like 99.9% .9 of the time will hover to you as long as you have aggro. And you will know if you have aggro on her if her health bar, the bar around and the outline is red as well. So like right there, for example, the DPS decided to walk up in front of me. Uh, as a DPS, I know there's going to be times where your character just wants to lunge forward. Try to make sure you dodge backwards though after you get yourself in a bad spot though. Because I know how it's like as a DPS accidentally lunging forward like that. So we're about to get to the pylon phase soon. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have like really strong DPSs, which is where having really good positioning comes into play, because you can kind of get away with not having great positioning if you have really strong DPSs, as long as they have some space behind her. But um, yeah, we didn't really have any strong DPSs in our group, unfortunately. I think everyone was a bruiser, and no one. I don't think any of them ran a dex build. Dex builds in this dungeon are top tier. So again, you can see now that with the pylon spawn, I just immediately go to the other side, and I don't even chase because if you chase her, it you you end up putting her in a bad position. You want to go to the completely opposite side because she's going to always hover to you. So for example right here, you can see right behind her, she has the DPSs have all that space behind her. And then after she lands in the pool, I go on the opposite side from her, so that way it's it just makes it easier for me to reposition her versus me standing next to her where she lands by the pool. 
And then she's gonna hover, well, not hover yet, she's gonna jump, then she's gonna hover over to me. Hence why I never go chase, because when you go try to chase the boss, it just, it just puts her in a bad spot. Sometimes she just stays in the pools, or the, she has no space behind her because of the pools, and the DPSs just can't do any damage unless they're ranged. If you're a ranged DPS, then you don't really have an issue with um, where the tank p positions her. Right here, I kind of messed up because I got a little greedy. So I decided to uh, take a couple hits, then block, then pot up. I wouldn't recommend it though. Uh, like I said, I just got a little greedy there. And she's gonna end up coming to me. Or, nope, I forgot about this pylon because uh, we're just not doing enough damage. Also, one major tip as a tank, when she's about to do any of these flyings, or flies, or whatever you want to call them, never, ever, ever block them. If you block it, your stamina will break instantly, and that'll put you in a stun, and then you're just easier to get hit again. You're better off just dodging it. Even if you have to spam your dodge, you're just better off, well, don't spam your dodge, but it's just best to time it. If you have a rapier, you can repose, just in case. Um, but yeah, you, you need to dodge those flights, because if you don't and you try to block it, you're gonna just break your stamina. And then we end up losing the healer, and it's just up to me and the other DPS. And yes, as a tank, you are also able to do the pylons. Now, I would only recommend doing the pylons when she's about to go create a, her own pylon, which I'll show you in just a second. So she's about to create her own pylon, and I go and um, try to defuse this pylon. Luckily, I was the one that got all four flights. I don't think he, he, I think he may have gotten one. And the bright side about being a tank doing the pylons is you can eat like two or three of these um, the meteors, depending on how much con you also run. But I run like 350 con just because I like when I play tank, I like to play a little lazy. Expect my DPS is to have damage, but uh, if they don't, then that's kind of a rip. It's a slow run. Like obviously having if having 300 con or uh, 300 strength would be really good here, but I mean it doesn't really matter when you end up killing her anyways, and your the rest of your team is already kind of dead. Regardless, you're gonna lose out on a lot of damage. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it with the positioning for um, Isabella in Tempest. It's super easy, super simple. All you have to do is just make sure the DPSs have enough space behind her. So really, you want to, as a tank, you want to be the one closer to the pool with your back against the walls or whatever, or the pools. 
so that way um, again the DPSs have enough space to move around and you also want to make sure you can you leave the pylons before they spawn so you're not trapped in there and you also never ever block those uh, the flights and also you can eat this the spinning cyclone attack she does and then block the last hit she does but that's pretty much it with this video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. If it does, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns on anything, then let me know down in the comment section as well. I know this is probably not the best guide, but hopefully this guide, again, helps out a lot of the tanks out there that are struggling tanking this or wanting to learn how to tank this or just want to see how other people tank this. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all DDZ1. Have a good day. Good night. Peace.